hello guys welcome back in this video i will be telling you about the general terms which is which is being used in the microsoft fabric and which we all should know okay so in the previous two videos we have seen what is as what is microsoft fabric and how we can set up an account in microsoft fabric and in this video we will be seeing about the general terms they are multiple terms but all these terms are the very common right so i thought to explain you in little bit you know in a brief and moving forward we will be understand in detail okay so the first term is capacity second one is experience then item then tenant and then workspace so what does all mean is that you know in the capacity means how much see if you are aware about the sql if you are aware about the uh, azure data factory aware about the spark or databricks right so they are i mean all these resources you know all all, all these services have one power okay have one power so that they can they can do their task that is called a simple capacity so i have a power and i can work you know uh, for two hours or maybe for five hours so that is my capacity likewise every fabric account uh, right have some capacity okay for the, for, for the for for the trial version it has around you know some capacity is assigned right and if you want to uh, have a more capacity then you have to upgrade yourself i mean up, upgrade the accounts right or the subscription so the same thing is written over here that the capacity is dedicated a set of resources that is available at a given time to be used okay capacity is divine to so to use the resource to perform an activity or to produce output different items consume different capacity at a certain time and you can see fabric offers capacity through the fabric sku's and trials so we can call it fabric sku so suppose i want to increase the sku so i will say fabric sku we have to increase right then we have experience so what does experience means see if i go back to my fabric account right and here you can see let me just cancel all these things now if i go to geek coders or maybe you know in this uh, workspace uh, let me go back to one minute I come out. Hmm. now you can see in this option i can see power bi data factory data activator and this you know data engineering data science data warehouse real time analytics so all these things are the experiences okay all these things are the experiences like data engineering synapse data engineering synapse data science synapse data warehouse and synapse real time analytics right now if i come again then you can see the same thing is written over here uh, here a collection of capabilities targeted to a specific functionality the fabric experiences include synapse data warehouse and data engineering and so, so 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 right now what does mean what does item mean so item means an item is a set of capabilities within an experience so under experience we have some set of items so let's say in data engineering we have pipeline right or maybe we have a spark notebook so that is called a kind of you know item an item is a set of capabilities within an experience in one experience or maybe many and users can create edit and delete them each item type provide different capabilities okay so data factory has some different capabilities notebook have some different capabilities kql have some different capabilities and etc for an example data engineering experience include the lake house notebook and spark job definition items right which a user can create and play with it tenant tenant is a tenant is a single instance of fabric for an organization so suppose my organization is geek coders right so i should have only a single tenant i mean for this geek coders name there should be a one id that is called tenant okay workspace workspace is nothing a collection of items which is associated to the experiences so workspace is like you know a place where everyone uh, can work in a collaborative way okay so the same thing is written over here let's say if you are aware about the uh, uh, adf adf is also a workspace right and databricks in databricks we create a workspace some project specific workspace right so like that you know we do it 
now we'll understand a little bit uh, in a, in detail so that you know you can easily understand and you know you will not forget it so ideally what happens is that there is one tenant okay and generally what happens is that under this tenant what we have so under tenant right we have a fabric account fabric enabled or we can say right i'm not sure why it is you know lagging uh one minute let me just refresh this page at least it should not be the case i'm, I'm not sure okay enabled right so this tenant has a fabric enabled and if i select this again yep then we have here we can have a multiple workspaces let's say this is workspace for my project this is workspace 2 and this is workspace 3 so you can assume this is my my project this is your project and this is some other person project right so for my project ideally what i'll do i will create a instance or we can say item in fabric uh, terms right so we create here items items so in simple term we create here pipeline right then you know we can create here lake house and then we can create here multiple things like you know spark notebook likewise for workspace 2 also we will do the same thing for workspace 3 also we will do the same thing and it all have some capacity okay so this is a simple picture right and yeah also if i go to my fabric account and uh, what i can do see here we i created a one one workspace right so likewise you know what i can do if i go to my uh, go to this option workspaces here i can create a multi, uh, a different uh, another workspace also so you know let's say this is for dev project so i can create a workspace with name dev underscore geek coders and here i can write the you know description like this is this is for project geek coders right and this is optional right you know you can ignore it and then you can up, up, upload some images or you know picture whatever you know if it needed and then you can here actually pass pass the you know a contact list so since i do not have any other person right away right now okay so i can i i have only the one person so uh, so you know uh, here if you are if you are having someone then you can write the user id or email id and then let's say you know i am writing my email id so that is info at geek coders so it, it may you cannot use invalid uh yeah i mean since since you know it is already a uh, a email id right so that's why it is showing and you know i can assign here a trial wala option pro or you know a, a premium per user all these stuff you know i can do it right so but you know for for time being i will only use here this trial option right otherwise you know it may cost me more hence you know i cannot do it so just click on this apply button and then you can see there is a new workspace so as i told you that under one microsoft fabric account or workspace we not workspace account we can say uh, we can have a multiple workspaces so now if i go to this uh, workspace so i can say that this geek coders belongs to the production workspace production project workspace and this is for the dev workspace like that you know we can we can see or we can we can assume i i ideally you know in my project you know i create like this dev underscore geek coders or you know prod underscore dev geek coders and you know uat underscore geek coders so totally depends on you know on depends on your organization architecture what they follow what type of name they follow right and inside this you know if i click on it and then i can have here multiple uh, things 
now what all these things are things these things are the items we call it an item and uh, let's say uh, lake house lake house is an item and lake house is an item and i can give here let like, dev uh, uh, dev geek orders lake house i can create it one minute okay now now you now what you will say ki this is my workspace this is my item and type is experience you can see not uh, not experience uh, this is a lake house right so if i click over here so lake house comes under data engineering so this is the experience hai na so all these this thing you can you can actually call it right now i hope that you have at least understood a basic of uh, basic term of this you know microsoft fabric and in the next video i will be telling you how you can assign or how you can you know create a workspace even though i have you know uh, i have shown you how you can create a workspace but moving forward we will be seeing how you can give the access to the workspace right what type of access you should provide to a particular user and then we'll see about the difference between data lake data uh, data warehouse and the lake house you know right and then we will start you know working on the adf part and or data factory part then you know, moving forward we will be seeing some of other other stuff also right so thank you bye bye we will meet you in the next lecture